The Ministry of Finance of Ukraine recently published a list of the 25 most at-risk state-owned enterprises. It's the first time the country has done such an accounting. This is a, a novel thing in Ukraine. Uh, it has been um, it's being done as part of the reforms of how Ukraine does public finance management. It's a part of the so-called public finance management reform strategy, which uh, Ukraine has done together with the, with some EU support. And uh, one of the components of this is uh, actually the assessment of fiscal risks. Back in January 2018, the Cabinet of Ministers of Ukraine approved a methodology for assessing fiscal risk arising from the activities of enterprises in the public sector. And this list is one of the results of that process. If one of these 25 enterprises were to fail, this could potentially derail the state budget. Topping the list is Naftal Gas. The state-owned company manages the bulk of extracting, transporting, and refining oil and gas in Ukraine. Since 2014, the enterprise has undertaken significant reforms, bringing some transparency to what was once one of the biggest sources of corruption in Ukraine. The state-run Ukrainian railway Ukrazaliznitsa is also included. The monopoly controls the vast majority of rail transportation in the country. It's the world's sixth largest transporter of passengers and seventh largest freight transporter. Third on the list is Inerhorinok, the electricity market. The remainder of the list is made up of companies associated with energy, agriculture, infrastructure, and other major concerns. So why is the publishing of this list worth noting? The publishing shows how Ukraine's finance ministry and government in general has matured. Public sector transparency is very important, particularly the transparency of public sector institutions, public sector companies. In many countries, they have been an area where corruption and big financial losses have taken place. So I think the fact Ukraine is publishing information about the viability and the risks that public sector corporations are facing is a very good signal for the international community, particularly for uh, potential investors, that Ukraine is a country and an economy that is serious about challenging corruption and about ensuring financial stability. By identifying such companies, ones that could be called too big to fail, the country will be able to create a strategy to minimize their impact on Ukraine's national budget. This allows to get feedback on these risks. This allows everyone to understand these risks. Right, so because the Minister of Finance is not the only stakeholder in public finance, everyone in the country is a stakeholder in this. So, the next step, seeing not only how the country manages and mitigates these enterprises, but also what long-term changes to rules and institutions will be put in place for the future.